Hey YouTube, Keegan here with Tech Shows You, and in today's quick video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the public beta of Mac OS X Yosemite. Now, you're not going to want to be using this as your main OS on your computer, so I'll show you how to install it on a separate partition on your internal hard drive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. When you're installing a beta of any software, you often don't want to put it on your main carry device, especially in early on beta. For example, for iOS 8, I always keep it on my backup iPod Touch that I use for testing only. So for this tutorial, we're going to create a new partition on your internal hard drive in order to install it on. To do this, we're going to use Disk Utility. Once we open that up, as you guys can see right here, I have my internal hard drive partitioned into two drives. I have Macintosh hard drive, and then Macintosh hard drive 2. Now obviously the much larger drive is the one that houses my main operating system which is Mac OS X Mavericks. But the second drive houses Mac OS X Yosemite, and right now it's running the second developer preview as I have not updated to the new preview yet. As you guys can see here, I'm running on a small little partition, it's only about 20 gigabytes, and then my Macintosh hard drive of course is much bigger. But as you guys can see, I do have some free space left on my hard drive, and what I did is I created a new partition using that free space. Now here, as you guys can see, I have an external USB drive plugged in, and we can kind of see how we do the partitioning. So what you do is you hit the little plus icon, and it just adds a new partition right like that. And then you can set the size to be whatever you want. For this, we'll set it to say 200 gigabytes. Now you can rename it to whatever you want, so we'll name this one K2. Now what you don't want to do is select anything from this drop down menu up here at the top. Now after you name it, you may be tempted to hit that little thing and change it if you want to add say two or three partitions. But this is not actually the correct way to do it. As you guys can see right here, it actually has a warning telling you that it will delete everything. So if I select one partition on this little drop down menu right here, as you guys can see, it actually wants to erase my drive and not just repartition it. But if I use this little plus button right here, I can create a new partition and preserve all of my data that's on the old partition, provided there's enough free space to make the new partition from. So once we do that, we'll go ahead and say partition. As you can see, that it will be resized and created. Nothing says anything's being deleted or wiped or anything like that. We'll go ahead and speed this up here so you don't have to wait for my drive to partition. And once that is done, we can move on to the next step in the installation. Now obviously you're going to want to go ahead and download the Mac OS X, which you can actually get for free from Apple if you enroll in the public beta program, and we'll have all of those links in the description below for you guys. So you guys may want to start that download now, and then watch through the video the rest of the way and kind of learn what you're going to do. Now once we go ahead and open up Disk Utility again, as you guys can see, that drive is partitioned and as is my internal hard drive. So from this point on, we're actually going to switch back to using my internal partitions. I just use that external drive to sort of show you guys the, the partitioning process and how it works. And now we're going to go through the actual Mac OS X installation. But first, let me just show you guys that on this second, on the first drive, I'm sorry, all of my data is definitely still there and everything is perfectly fine. And then I have this new empty drive over here that I can copy whatever I want into. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and take all this stuff off my desktop and just drop it into that drive. And as you guys can see right there, it all goes in and no problem at all. And then, now that I'm partitioned, as you guys can see, my second partition, this is my Yosemite partition, it shows up like a mounted drive, like any other drive, so I can still use that storage space if I need to store things on there that aren't in the Yosemite drive. As you guys can see, I can also access all of my files that I'm using within Yosemite. For example, here's a recording that I made of my iPod Touch on iOS 8. You guys probably saw this video a couple days ago when I was showing you guys the TouchPal keyboard for iOS 8. As you can see, it works just like the normal file browser, so you don't even lose any of that space. It's literally just broken up into two separate drives, but you can still use all of it. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and launch the Mac OS X installer and agree to everything that you need to agree to. You can then hit more drives and find your second drive. Now, as I already said, I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead back into Mac OS X Yosemite, and I will meet you guys there as soon as your installation finishes. Now, it will boot automatically into Mac OS X Yosemite once the installation finishes. And in order to get back into this drive whenever you want, you simply hold down the Option key while your computer is starting up, and then you can pick the second drive to boot off of. Now, as you guys can see, just like on Mac OS X Mavericks, I can now see the other drive when I'm in Yosemite. So see, all of my programs are available in the Applications folder on the other digital hard drive, so to speak. And I can go ahead and launch all the programs with no problem. Here I'm launching Final Cut Pro X, and I can go ahead and launch that, and I can have a whole new library on this version, or I can even access the same media library as on the older uh, Mac OS X version. Now this version is fairly stable, and like I said, this is the Developer Preview 2. We are up to Developer Preview 4 now, and I have not installed 
a three or four yet so we're gonna I'm just gonna have to wait on those and you guys can just kind of see basically the installation process that's the main point of this video now I don't want to take too much time going over Mac OS X Yosemite because if you're watching this you're probably gonna be installing it in a matter of minutes and you guys can check it all out on your own but it is definitely worth taking a look at even if you're not for sure gonna be wanting to do anything with it or test anything or develop anything as long as you have access to get it once it goes public or if you have a developer account before then you can definitely go ahead and check it out and this is an easy way to do it risk-free without having to have a separate computer like you do for iOS. And again, like I said, all of the download links for Mac OS X Yosemite will be available in the description below, as well as on textosview.com in our download portal, as soon as it goes live. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can find us on YouTube at TechShowsU, and please subscribe to us and comment and rate this video. You can find us on Twitter at TechShowsU, as well as on Facebook at facebook.com slash TechShowsU. Our website is available at www.techshowsu.com. We post all kinds of exclusive content on the website, as well as all of our YouTube videos and posts and tutorials and Apple news and everything you could ever want. This has been Keegan from Tech Shows U, and I will see you next time.